I can't be the only one that's there. Like, this is going to be a straight-up garbage, man. <laughs> Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. 2K21. This is going to be 2K21 Ben Wallace vibes. Let's take a look at 2K21 Ben Wallace. He's going to be a garbage man. Highest own point for rebounding. I agree. He's going to be a garbage man. He's going to be an absolute garbage man. He doesn't... There's nothing in the meta of this game. He's going to be a mash stopper. He's six foot nine. He's not going to stop anyone, Jacob. He's not going to stop anyone. He's going to be 2K21 Ben Wallace again. He's going to not be able to stop anyone in the paint. It's going to be this card all over again. He's going to get like 75 speed. He's going to have a 25 three ball, 25 mid range. He's going to get like a 40 free throw. And people are going to just hack him. And again, why is everything gray? <laughs> why is everything gray? This cover art was kind of cool. But why is everything in 2K23 gray? Like, why is everything gray? But, like, he's literally going to be Rudy Gobert. Slightly faster, but 6 foot 9. And that's what the issue is, is that, like, he's not going to be able to shoot the mid, he's not going to shoot the three, he's not going to be able to shoot free throws. He's going to be fast. He's going to get like a high interior defense. Like if we look at this card, it's going to be something along the lines of this. We're going to see a couple of good Hall of Fame badges. And we are. We're going to see a couple of nice hops. But like, he's going to be ass. I stand by that. I am like 99% sure that he is going to be a garbage man. Like, I'm normally okay when it comes to these cards. Like, people are so hyped. People are so hyped, but, like, he's just not... The way that this game's played, it's just not for him. I mean, Jacob, you can be fine. If you were gonna... You know what? You know what? If you want to run power forwards and run three out, two in, and just never... And just hope to God you win off offensive rebounds, that's the only way he's effective. Like, he's literally... The only way he's going to be effective is if you're running with... Like, he's going to be effective if, for example, again, you're running with bigs, two bigs, him at power forward, and your strategy is br bricks and offensive rebounds. Unless you are out here shooting bricks. And this is going to be defense as well. Ooh, Gary Payton pink diamond might be a thing. I think we might get like five leaks today. I think we might get like five leaks. We might get leaks for all the cards. You could run power. This could be one of the most AIDS lineups in the game, by the way, as well. Like you could run one of the most AIDS lineups. You could run like smart D Rose. Uh, I just saw it there, like Kurilenko. Uh Wallace. And like Ben Wallace there at the I was putting Ben Simmons. Or just somebody named Ben. Ben Simmons, and then, like, I don't know, freaking, like, Gobert, and no one's scoring on you, or AK, or you can go, like, Odom at small forward, you can run like that and just make it a complete just hell lineup, you can make a line, you can, like, you can cheese, and make an absolute stupidly hell lineup with Ben Wallace in your team. It's not going to be good, though. Like, he's not going to be that good. And the thing is, is like, he's still going to get mashed. He's not going to get... He's going to be a, such a liability in the offensive end that what he brings on defense is highly unlikely not going to be worth it. Like, you've literally got to be... Like, you're going to... The other team's going to be able to play in the paint, which means it's harder to get dunks when someone's able to just block you straight up. It's hard to get dunks like that. And then if you run these two guys and the other team sits in a zone, it's game over. 
So there's just no, for me, there's like no reason to ever use a Ben Wallace in this game. Like, I'm not going to go out there and say he's going to be absolutely awful, but I do think he's in, I do think for me he's going to be awful. I do think for most of you he's going to be awful. I think he's not going to be a good enough center because he's going to have like a 25 three ball and a 40 mid range shot. And he's going to be, he's going to be go bear, but smaller. And then a power forward. Literally, you're only, if he's on the floor, your only offense is going to be offensive rebounds. I mean, it could be effective. For all for all I know, it could be the most effective way of playing. Just literally chucking bricks and getting offensive boards. Like, that could be the most effective way of playing my team, but I just don't think it will be. Running him a center is a bad idea, and it's just going to be... I think a lot of people that are excited now, I think he just... I think more so than anything, he's going to be really just not fun to use. I, I think he's going to drain the life out of you trying to run this guy. And more so than anything, I want to have fun. Like, one thing he will do is if he will counter if your opponent is running um, Bancaro at center, he will stop Bancaro. But also, it doesn't... That's the only thing he's there for. He'll, he'll stop Bancaro. Or he'll stop Blake Griffin. But like... He's also not going to score on the other end to be a liability on offense, so... Like, there's no reason... You would rather just use a Bankero to stop Bankero if he's at least a score on each other. You'd rather counter Bankero by being able to score on Bankero than just being able to kind of stop him. He can switch on to point guards. I don't really... Chad, are you, guys, are you guys... Do you guys think he's going to be good? Let me know, chat. Yes or no? Is he going to be good? Yes or no, chat? Okay, so no, no, nah. Literally stop saying Bancaro. Yes, mid. What's the time for the leaks? It looks to be every half an hour. What's highly likely in the case is we're going to get another diamond leak and then two more pink diamond leaks throughout the day. Hell, nah. How is it a question? Maybe on defense, apart from Wallace, water players have been leaked. Marcus Mark is going to be a beast. Throw will be amazing mid. So most people are... Nobody's really said in a serious way that he's going to be a good player. It's good for September. If you say this is good for September, what about explain this garbage, man? Explain this garbage, man. I also think that we're probably going to get a Gary Payton. Gary Payton is my prediction. I actually do think we're going to get a Gary Payton. But yeah, I just don't think. Not only do I not think Ben or Ben Wallace is great for my team, I just don't. I just don't think his archetype suits 2K unless they give him a stupid like 85 speed, which they're probably not going to do. They're highly unlikely to do that. So yeah. Pretty it, much it.